Ladies and gentlemen, her fight number 11 this evening will be contested in the Eternal Featherweight Division over three five-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 66.6 .6 kilos and trains out of kick-ass MMA, making his second appearance as a professional tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Creel. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 65.4 kilos and trains out of Wolves Den, holding a professional record of one win for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sebastian Saleh. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Terence Cook. Final instructions from Terence Cook, and you heard here in the crowd at HBS Stadium, there's a lot of support from both fighters, especially Saleh. So, again, can't wait for this one, and we're here right now. Brett Bonetti here in the commentary position with Daniel Break Your Face Bradshaw, enjoying all the action. We hope you're enjoying the action on UFC Fight Pass. Oh, oh big shot to start. Big Saleh. Shot. That nice punch there by Saleh earlier on. And watching his switching stands, he's throwing the side kicks. Oh, big shot, big shot. But it's the awkward angles that Saleh's shots come from. Davies are uh, a lot more fundamental, traditional Muay Thai, but you see Saleh's, look at those quick shots. Looks like that Sebastian Saleh's settled nicely in this one yeah, where yeah. Creel needs yeah. to settle. Yeah. It's those explosive karate attacks where it's one, two, three quick shots. But yeah, I didn't think we'd see any grappling here. I thought we'd we'd get the guys standing there. As we mentioned in the lead up, it's a this is a bit surprised. Don't be surprised if they're separated yeah. very shortly and they go back to it. But I think Saleh here, he needs to use his head. David Crew was doing well. Oh, great shot off the break. That's the one we were looking for. And let's see how David uh, reacts to these weeks. Oh, punch there shot. by Saleh. Nice. Big shot. Goes upstairs with a head kick. He's struggling with these different shots. Oh, punch. Shot. That, that was a massive yeah, punch. Yeah. Saleh is on fire early. Crew has landed a couple of punches, but not as powerful oh, as Saleh so far. He's mixing it up. The high, low, high is he's moving very well, Saleh. But David's still there. He's cutting him off. He's not letting him control. I mean, he's got the body like this is where he should use a trip. Like we saw Frank the Tank in the, in the last fight. He needs, to, he needs to work here. Don't let Dave rest now. Use that head. Use the body lock. And, and secure a leg and, and get a takedown. But as I said, I'm surprised it's in this position. Yeah, no, no, of course. I thought they'd be, but again, both guys have hit each other pretty hard. But this, this is where David needs little movements, just little shucks, little movements to create openings, to work an underhook in, and then to start circling out uh, and getting his back off the cage. Just as we see in there. Still trying to... Uh, and you can see Soleil Fine opening, aren't they? feeding that right arm through and, and controlling him. Both guys threw punches. And let's see if he can step. He can step his right right leg around and circle around the back of David Creel. You can hear the yeah. voice of Stephen Kennedy but this barking is where, instructions to Creel. This is where David, once he gets his underhooks, he needs to use that revenge. Whoever's head is lower in this position should traditionally win. So you can see here, Davies, he's swimming that. There we go, and that's where he can control it now. His head's lower in the position. Now he's in a dominant spot, and now he's going to go for the double. He should really disengage and strike here. Well, again, we did say in the walkout that Krill did walk at work on wrestling in his camp, and yeah. So, I mean, oh, oh big punch shot by Salai again. Big straight shot, and it's the same punch we've seen all fight. Same combo yeah, as well. Yeah. And it's that karate style. It's very different to the fundamental Muay Thai uh, sort of stance that uh, Davies are uh, incorporating here. Salade has landed again, a beautiful punch. So uh, Creel looks for that leg kick. Goes high but misses. Grazes. Oh, another. That was a yeah. left that landed that time by Salade. Got to be careful on that counter though because Creel does have power. 
another nice one yeah. too. But you can see Creel's hands are dropping really low. I think he's feeling some of these body shots and Soleil's doing well because if those hands come lower, that straight's there all day. Southpaw stance for Soleil. Back into the rocks, but slips. Let's, let's see, see if... Let's, uh, see, let's see who takes advantage of this position. Well, he said he's been working on his wrestling and he's happy to take it, keep it there. That's why he's taking it down. He slipped. He's, he's slid into a triangle. Wow, yeah. slid right in. So he needs, he needs to use his... Uh, Big he mistake. Needs to, he needs to cut the angle with his left arm and screw up Davey's leg. Pulling the head down. It's Has he got it, Dave? Oh, wow. oh he's oh, tapped! Wow. He's tapped! Sebastian Soleil wins by submission over David Creel in Eternal 60. Look at the crowd going crazy. That was a massive state by Creel. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to get it there, but he, he just slid straight in. Yeah, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at four minutes and 14 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by submission due to a triangle choke in the red corner, Sebastian Saleh. Hey. So ladies and gentlemen, we're here with our winner, Sebastian Saleh, and what a fantastic performance. Obviously, you're well known for the karate background, the striking, and the speed in particular on the feet here tonight looked like it was causing a lot of problems for your opponent. Oh, uh, yeah. First thing, I'd like to thank my team at Wolves Den and all the boys Vex and everyone who came out and support me. Thank you very much, guys. Couldn't do it without you. Um, basically, I wasn't expecting a submission, I'll be honest with you. I was looking for the knockout, but hey, the opportunity came there, so I took it. Yeah, you certainly did. And of course, like you mentioned, the triangle choke getting the victory. Is that a submission that you hit in the gym? No. <laughs> N not at all. I barely do it. But hey, it works. Well, that's the beautiful sport of MMA. I'll let you go and celebrate the victory with all your fans. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, Sebastian Soleil.